Hello, hi guys, I'm Hinky. You're welcome to another interesting tutorial. The last time we talked about basic requirements when making a petticoat, and today shall be the cutting of a petticoat. So, I'll be showing you how to cut a petticoat. So, the first thing is to take you through the materials needed to do a petticoat to make a petticoat so these are the materials needed you can see it on the screen the hard net the plastic boning which is 0 0.5 inches in width and the elastic rubber the bias tape the fabric that you're going to use for the elastic rubber casing so all these are needed to make your petticoat so your petticoat can be as wide as you want it may be it depends on how bogus and how big you want your petticoat to be so i'll be taking you through the cutting of the petticoat right now so right now we want to cut the petticoat i told you we are using hard lining for the petticoat and the downside i'm going to multiply the waist measurement because we have four channels and each of the four panel as on the waist nine inches so on the downside so we are going to measure the length first the length of the petticoat as i told you is 40 inches so we are going to subtract two inches which is for the elastic band which will be on the waist subtract two inches from 40 you are going to have 38 so i'll be marking 38 here so as i place my tape measure this is 38 inches here so that 38 that i've measured i'm going to add sewing allowance to join my elastic band of half inch on the upper part and also half inch on the lower part to stitch it so i will have 39 inches all together so i have 39 inches here for the length of the petticoat then this is on fold as you can see this add net is on fold right away so i folded two together this is on fold and i'm cutting two at a time two panels i'm cutting two panels right away and it's on fold so since the waist measurement is 36 and we are dividing it into four because we are having four panels so 36 divided by four give us nine inches for each panel so since each panel is on fold now nine inches divided by two will give us four and a half then you are going to add sewing inches of half inch so on the downside On the downside, the hemline of the dress, we have times three of what is here is what my client want. Times three of what is here. And since we have nine inches here on the waist, nine times three is 27 and it is on fold. That means 27 divided by two will give us 13 and a half. Then I'm also going to have to add half inch, making 14. Making 14. So I'll be connecting this point, this point to this point like so. So it will give us like a triangle. So I told you, you can use four, four times of your waist circumference or used three times of your waist circumference. It depends on your client's choice. So whatever I have here, I'm going to cover up this place so that it will not be sharp. So I'm going to transfer the length here, which is 39. I'll place it here, 39 also here to be able to cover up this place so that it will not be too sharp. So I'll go ahead now and cut it out. This is two panels, so I'll go ahead and cut two more for the whole petticoat. So I need two more. So I will join this here. I'm going to join it at this part. So this, you can see the downside is wide. This is the down part. It is wide. And this is the upper part. I told you that the bones will start from the hip. And your waist to the to from the waist to the hip. The hip measurement of the of my client is uh, 26 from the from the shoulder. So if I take 26 from the half length now, we have the half length is of uh, for this uh, tutorial is 16 inches, 16 and a half. So if we deduct 16 and a half from 26, 
we have like something like nine inches left. So our hip is starting from nine. So our hip is starting from nine. This is where our hip will fall. This is where our hip will fall. So a bone channel will start will start here. Will be here. So I will measure the remaining so that I will be able to divide my four channels on this. I have 30 here. So 30 from here to here. 30 divided by 4. So 30 divided by 4 will give me 7 and a half. So I'm going to measure 7, 7 and a half. 7 and a half here. 7 and a half here. 7 and a half here. So... I have one, two, three, four. So right now, I'll put the last one. I'm still going to put a bone on the last, this downside. I'm going to put a bone on this last, last line, last line. So I will have five all together. I will have five all together. I'll have one year, two year, three year, four year, and the last will be. So that means I have five. If you are dividing it into four channels, that means you are making bones of five channels because there must be a bone here on the downside also to be able to boost this. So a bone will be here, which will be the last bone. I'll be joining it together by half inch here and join it together till I get to the back. Then I'm going to attach my elastic and the I'm I'm using a brider or door face to do the waist so i'll be cutting that one on food the waist is 36 so we have 36 here with the sewing allowance of one inch to join the back together or half inch half inch to join the back together so I'm going to mark five, then connect this line to this, and this is my, this is the waist. This is the elastic casing. 